Okay, uh, Ben, when was the last time you looked up the hashtag burger tacos on TikTok? Let's see. <laughs> uh, actually, never. Yeah, you're not I, I, never, I never have. But you know what? Those videos have millions of views, including this one. Now, this one, I cannot wait to try because it's like the best of both worlds. I love burgers and I love tacos. <laughs> so, Ashley Kramer from the Minnesota Beef Council has this viral burger taco recipe, and we are going to try it today. Hi, Hi Ashley. Ashley. So good to see you. Good to see you guys. Okay, first we're going to start with this sandwich, though. Mm -hmm. And so it is, this is almost a similar kind of hybrid because it's the burrito tacos yes. but put into a sandwich yeah so we're really messing things up today um, but this is a we have no rules we have okay? no rules today. we're just gonna mix everything up <laughs> we are um, so this is a burrito sandwich similar to a burrito taco which is so good yep so it utilizes the chuck roast or the shoulder roast of the animal mm -hmm. um, and this one is really great because um, it, it's cooked in a pressure cooker which only takes about an hour and a half or let's say you don't have an hour and a half, you can always prep it and then it's great for leftovers during the week. Oh, oh. good. Yeah, it reheats really well. So, okay, you did this in the in the Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. What are the flavors then that go along with this? Yep, so this one's got a lot of unique flavors um, and there's a lot of different spices that go in here. Um, so first you put the chuck roast in and it's super great because you toss all the ingredients in, kind of like a crock pot. Yep. Um, you probably could even use a crock pot if you don't have a pressure cooker. Yeah, I think you could. Um, yeah. But yeah, you put the roast in there and then you add the wet ingredients that help to make what's called a consomme. I believe that's how you say yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and so we have some crushed tomatoes, um, some chilies and adobe sauce, beef broth, and then onions. Yeah. So those are kind okay. of like the bulk of what makes that sauce. Um, and then some of the other spices that go into that are some dried guajillo. Oh yeah, Ooh, guajillo chilies. Like this is my those. first time no, using them. you got it. Um, so I found that actually in like the bagged spice section, just yeah. as a fun fact. Um, I couldn't find them in like the the canned spices, if you that know, makes sense. You know, once I started using those, like guajillo or the dried ancho chilies, like I use the dried ancho chilies in a, in chili, in a beef chili. Oh, there you go. It's like real game changer. And it's not it's not difficult. No, you just you pop just, them in there. Kind of like a bay leaf. Like you pop yeah. it in, yeah. and then when it's done cooking, you take it out. Yeah. So um, you don't eat it. You just use no. it for the flavor. You can just, in you the can chili that I make, you blend it. Then you blend it oh, later right. and then pour it oh, back sure. in. Right. So, I mean, you don't have to do right. Yeah, so this recipe true. calls for cinnamon sticks, And I'm going to guess the other secret ingredient is this little guy right there. Yeah. And you also don't eat that one. You <laughs> pop it in. I mean, you could. You could but try. It, yeah. You, know, you could try. Be a little, the challenge. A little hard. Um, but then you put the dried chilies in there, the cinnamon sticks, and then also a bay leaf. And that's what you take out once the roast is done. Um, but then some other spices that go in there are like chili powder, um, Mexican oregano, um, and a lot of just like other spicy type. Type yeah, of, um, and then you're just going to shred it all in the juices, right? Yeah. Yep, so then once it's cooked together um, and you release that pressure, obviously be careful because it's going to steam out, um, but then you shred it and then you can pour out that liquid and use it as the consomme to dip into oh. your sandwich. So this is a little bit less labor intensive because normally when you're making the tacos, you like dip that, you fill the taco, you mm -hmm. dip it in the sauce and then you griddle it again. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing it oh, as I a didn't sandwich, even know that. That yeah, was, it's that, like a whole, yeah. it's do. a process as the Canadians say. It is a process. Say. All right, all right you want to get after it? this? Okay. Yeah, let's and this try one, this thing. We did grill the bread so you can utilize your grill for this as well Actually, just to give the bread a little bit of a, a toast um, obviously not necessary we keep having things on this show that are like I don't <laughs> really even know I, 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 I have no shame I just like <laughs> really. I'm gonna go for the dip if it works if you want yeah if it doesn't like all fall out here I know, oh it's, it's a little messy but it's um, so good. yeah the flavors I just it's a it's got a little kick to it so if you don't like a lot of spice Yum. maybe back down on that adobe sauce a are little you bit kidding me? that is so good <laughs> oh it's so, so good here bud Thank oh, you. Yeah, what and I you did can there. also top it um, with some fresh ingredients like cilantro, um, avocado, tomato. Oh my gosh, I would even make that over like a bowl. I mean, that's that's just delicious. That meat is mm -hmm. the star of the show. Yeah, make it in bulk and then use it for multiple recipes. For I can't food. believe how good that meat is. Oh, like that, yum. that in in the hoagie or over better rice or something like that. Yeah. Holy cow! Oh, so good. All right. Now this guy is really getting a lot of attention on social yes. media, and frankly, I've been a little bit skeptical of this Ashley because. <laughs> I feel like, why are we overcomplicating everything? What are right. we doing with this burger taco mashup? It makes it fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm on board with you. Yeah, and I'm gonna guess it's not all that complicated, no, right? It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, really simple. So um, I'm actually, good job, look at that. Yeah, I saw, I saw Sorry. these here Intuitive. and I'm like, I'm just gonna put them on. I don't even know what we're doing here, but I'm just gonna <laughs> just put them on, right? You saw the gloves and you knew. Um, so yeah, put the gloves on okay. and then take the tortilla. 
um, and ground beef. Um, I like to do a little bit of higher fat percentage just to give a little more flavor. Um, but you're going to put a really thin layer onto the base of the tortilla. So what do you? What so do you're you not making, making like it a ball. Like you're just spreading it on there. Like, like that, that much? much? Sure. Yep. And then you're going to just like spread it on there, almost like butter, really. Um, oh, spread it on. I the guess torch. I didn't realize like this really is how they thin. did it. Yep. So you're just going to spread. Oh, because it on you're only going to cook it this size. Right. Yep. All right. And it's so thin that you don't have to worry about it not being cooked through. Okay. Um, so that's the great thing about it. It's like a smash burger. If you wanted, you could put it into a ball, place the tortilla on top, and then smash it. Okay, I don't know. So I think you really your technique just... was really easy. Yeah, I, I like to do it. Oh, no, that you, way. yours is way better than mine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. But okay, no. and then what do you do? Pop it on a griddle? Yep, so you talk on a griddle, um, like those Blackstone griddles, for example, are becoming yeah. really popular yeah. as well, also yep. trending. Um, so you could do something like that, plop it on the griddle, um, let it cook for about two, three minutes until it is cooked through, flip it over, and then you're going to add your cheese, um, let that melt, and let the tortilla crisp up a little bit, almost like a taco. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you just fold it, as okay. you see. That's add your simple. toppings. You did like Thousand Island on here. I yeah, so like it did it. you like a special burger sauce. It has mayo, ketchup. Ketchup, <gasps> mustard, um, pickle relish, and some onion and garlic powder. Why was I hating on this? I don't know why. <laughs> it's so simple. So this is so simple. This is gonna simple. Be great. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Can you tell us about this last yes. one here? Yes. Um, so this one uses a top sirloin. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then this one, um, you're gonna use it into like a dry rub, um, kind of a zest to marinate it. Yeah. So it's got orange zest and then um, some ground red pepper. And you're gonna marinate that together, put it on the grill, and then I love to um, grill it with fruit. And that's also kind of the trendy thing to do is to grill fruit. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. This guy, Ashley, it's, what a little <laughs> pumpkin pie delicious. It's magical. <laughs> and, and, the, and the best part about it, it's a little handheld guy. I love it. Mm -hmm. This, this so might fun. be a state fair food. This right. is it. This is where it's at. Okay, yeah, you just stay right there, my friend. I'll come yeah, back you to guys, you later. You, you, have, you have to try these things, especially <laughs> that little beef taco thingy there. We have all the recipes on TwinCitiesLive.com. Wow. Plus, you can find more information about the Minnesota Beef Council, including recipe ideas and meal planning. They really have a great resource for recipes for you. Just visit mnbeef.org. Hot diggity dog. Hot this is why diggity you dog. You have to try things. Even if see. you judge them at first. Yeah, you you judge it and you thought it was going to be really complicated and super easy I and really delicious. I thought it was delicious. dumb and now I've learned a valuable <laughs> life lesson. <laughs> Didn't you learn that like in elementary school? I had to no? relearn it at 41. I know, I know, mm -hmm. I know. All right.